Yeah. 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 Everything you do comes back to you. You know that? Every man feels it. And a man's revenge is a very powerful and horrible thing. Burns like fire. It can never be put out. There used to be these two niggas that ran the block royally. One dealt with drugs, one dealt with robbery. Mike was drug dealing champion number one. Kurt tried for fun, but specialized in guns. But Kurt was bait. He'd rather elaborate than plan the escape. Well, Mike was on some organized kill and calculate. But together they made the block run. And gave new meaning to the saying that two is better than one. But everybody on the block knew Kurt and his bait moves would be the end of this sick two man click. And it came to be a big picture occurred on the TV. Wanted for robbery and trafficking of a half a beat. Already on parole for a murder beef. He couldn't go back to the pen, he made too many enemies. So he started making other options. Figured he could do some walking if he started talking. So we called up Mike and said, I'm turning myself in. It's either that or live on the run as long as I can. My face is all over the city, I can't win. Mike said, relax, I already got it locked. I found out yesterday and started cutting all ties to make everything the cops say look like lies. If you turn yourself in, then you'll do hard time. If you do what I tell you, then you'll do just fine. Got a private ticket for you on a black market airline. 20 grand cash and a fast half a key. A pearl white cookie that was brought to me by brave young soldiers that traveled across the sea. Meet me at Upward at quarter to eight. Kurt, come by yourself and nigga don't be late He said alright Mike, but it sounded so fake Mike could have swore we heard his voice shake He spoke through his other face Cause he made up his mind before we made the call To escape, somebody else had to take the fall So the next day, he turned himself in Butt full of kind, crack and heroin Yelling, I want a deal, freedom, for information I'll give you five faces with five matching locations Legit bus, guns and bags of white dust The cops said, fuck that, we only want Mike He's the most invisible, therefore almost invincible Career criminal with no record And absolutely, no criminal history Give him to us and we'll give you immunity Now Kurt thinks to himself, he's my only real friend but is he worth more than my house and my bands? Is he worth more than my baby moms and my daughter? Is he worth me not being around to be a father? The cop said, come on, Kurt. You want to do 25? You want to be a dry queen selling your butt to stay alive? Revenge, revenge is a horrible thing. It'll make a humble man do horrible things. You know what you did, kid. Keep your eyes open. Watch over your shoulder. Remember Jugger told you. Copycat wax weak in the back in the closet rat in the closet rat yo Copycat wax weak in the back in the closet rat in the closet rat yo So we went there just to see Mike Surrounded by hungry cops standing in plain sight Wearing plain clothes from a distance Mike's looking at him like he knows Looking at him like wow he knows he'll never sleep again after seeing those eyes Looking at his friend to see your revenge materialize He walked up to Mike and he said hi Mike hugged him like he loved him and he said, why? He said, what do you mean, why? What are you talking about? He said, I can see it on your skin and smell it on your mouth. You smell like pig. I see those pigs. I just never should have let myself get trapped like this. But he didn't resist. No threats of death. Because he knew the cops probably wired up Kurt's chest. They took him back to the station for his interrogation. He said, don't ask me questions. Just put me in the bullpen. You obviously got what you need from my friend. So what you trying to do? Fuck me again? Early the next day, he went to court and got denied bail. Now all he wants to do is get his ass back to jail so we can make some phone calls and prepare shit. Cause yo, Kurt's gotta die for this. But now the only question is how we gotta suffer. I could send some hardcore cats to rape his baby mother. Or publicly assassinate his little brother. Right now I'll do almost anything to see him suffer. Then it came to Mike. The one thing Kurt loved more than his own life was his first and only son. Just turned one and was about to be the victim of a late abortion. When he ratted, he should have asked for family protection. So now Mike's calling killers collect. All y'all niggas owe me something, now it's time to pay your debt. In code, he told the address of where the kid rests. He said, do the shit quick, but make sure you leave a mess. For the whole block to see, especially that rat. Let him live with the fact his son died like that. Cause of the 
this treacherous act I want this shit done tonight I want this whole family crying by the break of daylight Back on road, Kurt prepared to disappear Had to check his baby mom, she had his money and gear So we went there, just to gather up some stuff Only to see the dead body of his girl in handcuffs And then he turned around to a horrible sight The dead body of his son dangling from the ceiling light He fell to his knees, his realization surfaced There was a note dumped back to his back that said, was it worth it? Was it? So was it? Huh. Answer me. Was it? Hey yo, revenge, revenge is a horrible thing. It'll make a humble man do horrible things. You know what you did, kid. Keep your eyes open. Watch over your shoulder. Remember, Jugger told you. Copycat wax weak in the back, in the closet rat, in the closet rat, yo. Yo. Copycat wax weak in the back, in the